Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do another tutorial, this time on manipulating letters. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new document. I'm going to do it landscape as usual, just because it fits my screen a little better. All right, here we go. Okay, let's learn how to manipulate letters in Adobe Illustrator. We're basically going to take a letter and treat it like an image. So let's go ahead and get the type tool. All right, which is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and click, and it's gonna give me, if I just click, it's gonna give me this lorem ipsum, okay? That is just like, um, basically filler text, okay? It's uh, it's not real words, it's like scrambled Latin, and it's just there to take, make place for letters. So I'm gonna go in here, let's just pick a letter, let's pick A, why not? And I just typed A, okay, and it's got a cursor, so it's obviously acts like a normal uh, text kind of box. And you can see here in our little options section here that we've got options for this. So I'm going to select it, make sure it's selected. I've got color, of course. I've got stroke, of course, just like as if it was a shape. Um, can control that. I'll leave that for now. We've also got character, okay. Then we got, you know, the type of character, um, or the type of uh, font within this typeface here. And we got the size, paragraph, yada, yada, yada. We're really going to just uh, focus on just manipulating a letter kind of as an image today, okay? We will work on words and fonts manipulating uh, text uh, soon. So, let's see what happens if I grab this box. Okay, so that is one way I can make my font larger. But notice how I distorted it. That is definitely not something you want to do as a graphic designer. That is a big graphic design no-no, okay? So if you want to make it bigger using this little uh, transform box, you're going to want to hold down shift. So that way when I drag it, no matter how I move my cursor, it stays in proportion with itself. That is the way to go, okay? So I can just make it bigger that way. You can see it changed the font size up here. Okay, I can go back in here. If I click back to the type tool, and I see the little cursor there, I can I can move this till it gets in the box. You see how it is that cursor kind of with a box around it, but then when I get close enough to the A, it changes. It doesn't have the box around it anymore. So it's not going to make a new text box. If I click here, I'm going to make a new text box. I'll type B over there. Okay, but if I move closer to this one, it's going to go to the cursor, which means I can type inside that text box. Okay, so let's go ahead and just manipulate this. Let's first change the kind of font it is. Oh, let's change the color. So we can change the color by click, clicking on the color as such. We can uh, give it a stroke, but this is kind of also a point of contention in graphic design. Okay, so watch, if I give it a black stroke, actually, let's do this first. I'm going to duplicate it first. So let's take this and hold down Option, my black arrow, and I'm going to duplicate it. We got two A's here. Let's zoom in a little bit and check it out here. How did I switch to that? Let's go back there. Okay, so Type Tool. Let's go ahead and. Oh, actually, I don't even need the type. Let me just select it. Okay, so now watch as I give it a black stroke here. Okay, look at what happens to my letter shape as I'm changing it. Notice that it is completely changing the letter inside. That is definitely a crime in graphic design. This has to be listed under my font crimes for sure. Uh, distorting the shape of the letter like this is a bad idea, kind of, a, of an amateur thing to do, uh, because as a graphic designer we should be aware that fonts were designed to look a certain way, to have certain attributes, that make it similar to other letters that, you know, in the same font or in the same typeface. And when you do a stroke like this, it destroys that. So we definitely don't want to do this. Now, if I go to my stroke window over here, we usually have the option to change where the alignment is. I can't change it. Okay, notice that. Okay, I cannot change the alignment of the stroke while it's a type. Well, it's type. Okay, let's duplicate it a third time. 
Let's get a little more room here. Take this. Let's duplicate it a third time. So this is bad. Bad example. We don't want to do this, okay? Um, I was going to change the font. I totally forgot to. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just a side note. Myriad Pro is our default font. If you type anything, it's going to start in Myriad Pro. Myriad Pro was designed to be a very uh, bland font, okay? Uh, so, y you know, you may it is used for certain um, logos and designs, but just note that you're making something very generic and bland because that's the design of it. Always be aware of what font you're choosing, okay? So we'll, we'll keep it in Myriad Pro for now. So I'm going to select this. So we have another option here, not just for strokes, but just to manipulate this A in general. I can take this letter... I can go up to type, and we can go down to create outlines, okay? This is very much kind of like when I have a, a stroke and I go to expand. This is the way we would do this for uh, text, for font. Create outlines. And look what it did. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this one here. I'm going to go ahead and select it and hit it with a white arrow and now I can see all these little anchor points and if you haven't realized it's now made this a shape so it's no longer a font that I can type with I can type into I can't get my cursor and start typing in there again it's gonna make a new text box it's now just like a shape just as if I made it out of rectangles and the pen tool or whatever and by clicking on it you can see that now it can be adjusted I can take these anchor points and I can move them I can adjust the handlebars if I want to. And I can change my letter. I can even grab these little widgets, and round out letters. And not that I just want to, you shouldn't just go in and start changing stuff for the sake of changing stuff normally. But for this tutorial, let's go ahead and do it because we're just experimenting. seeing the different ways we can adjust this. Okay, so you could round out the font. Um, you can get rid of points. Like, let's say I didn't want this point here. Let's see, I can pick it up. Let's uh, drag this handlebar inside. Actually, I don't want to get rid of both the points because they're not connected. Just put the handlebars away. Put them together like that. But you could get rid of a point if you wanted to. Like, let's say I wanted to get rid of this whole shape in the middle here. I could go to my pen tool and I can start subtracting these points. There we go. All right. Acts just like a regular shape. Okay, that being said, you could also take a shape and you can use a Pathfinder tool. Let's go ahead and expand this a little bit. and use it in any way we would use any shape with the Pathfinder tool. Let's, I'm going to change the color of this just so we can see a difference here. Let's select them both. Let's find my Pathfinder window right down there. I'll bring it up, make sure we can see it. And I could add it to it. I could subtract it, do that sort of thing. So great tool, great tool to have for our letters, especially when we want to um, create something unique for a logo or change it yeah change a letter to give it a style of some sort and that sort of thing okay let's go ahead and let's duplicate it again okay let's go ahead and create outlines again go to object nope sorry type go to create outlines and let's try and add a stroke one more time here Black stroke. Okay, did the same thing so far. But let's go ahead and look over here. Now that it's a shape, I can change the orientation of the stroke, which is the way to go in terms of adding a stroke, or one of the ways to go uh, when you want to add a stroke that will not distort the text inside. And, and that's a big deal. We do not want to distort that. Um, unintentionally or generally intentionally we don't ever want to distort that letter shape 
inside a stroke. It's a, again, telltale amateur thing to do as a graphic designer. You want to make sure our strokes stay aligned to the outside. Okay. You can still do all the same things as you would be able to do with a shape. And get rid of points, move points around, and do whatever you need to. Let's see what happens. Oops, got to select it. There we go. Okay, you can see here I can round out the corners now of the outside of the stroke at least. And I'd have to go in there and manually do it if I wanted to adjust the inside, kind of like we did over here. But, you know, gives it a softer look and do different things. Good tool. Okay, let's go ahead and manipulate some more type. Let's go ahead, I'm going to make another text box there by clicking. And let's change this. Let's change it to Trajan Pro. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Let's type a T for Trajan. I'm going to make it larger. Okay, so I got my T here. So things you can do. Um, let's first change it to type, create outlines. Here we go. Now, depending on what you're doing, right, this is obviously how Trajan is supposed to look, but let's say you wanted to feature this T and you wanted it symmetrical or, you know, you want it, you want it to be perfectly symmetrical, which it's not here, which is okay for the, the font. But let's say you had some logo and you're featuring a T and you just needed a symmetrical T. And so let's go ahead and see how we can do this. So because it's a shape here, I can copy this end and paste it onto this end. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get rid of this section. Okay, so easiest way, uh, we could use a Pathfinder tool is one way. Let's see if we can line it up. And I know the same color, but if I select them both, I can subtract it. Another way is to use the eraser tool. I can select it as it's selected already, and I can just get the eraser tool and erase. Okay, right there with the eraser tool. Either way is fine. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Well, I'll do it this way. I'll go object, transform, reflect, and we are going to vertically and copy. Here we go. Okay, but I want the, let's say I want the bottom to be symmetrical. So I'd have to choose which side I want to keep. The longer, the shorter. Let's say I want to keep the longer, the longer side. So let's see here. I'm going to take this one and erase my shorter side. Let's go ahead and select this one over here. And erase the shorter side as well. Okay, now I'm just going to try and line them up and see if I can get it like this. If not, I can erase parts. I think I had it right the first time there. That looks pretty in line. Okay, it makes a little dip there. So I'm going to get rid of that in the end, but I can see they look pretty joined up there. I've got a nice symmetrical T here. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to use my Pathfinder tool and unite them. And I've got a brand new symmetrical T. It looks kind of strange, actually, compared to the other one. But yeah, I'm going to say if I needed the symmetrical, here's the way to go. Let's say I want to get rid of that little dip there. So I'm going to get the white arrow, find out what I have going on. So I've got these anchor points. And I'm going to take my pen tool and delete them. Let's see. Sometimes you really have to get in there to find out where your points are. Let's see here. I think that looks like the anchor point. There it is. I made a new one. Anchor. Delete. There we go. 
had to delete a few there. All right, nice. Now you could do all sorts of other things with this too, right? Let's, let's I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate it. You can make letters longer. And again, this is more for maybe a uh, logo of some sort. So I could go with my white arrow, select these bottom anchors. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Hold shift if I want to keep it in a line. You can do things like that. You can make them shorter, obviously, too, right? It's like pick it up, hold shift. Of course, it all looks awkward and weird, but uh, again, this would be maybe for some sort of logo that had some sort of featured long letter or something. But anyways, we can manipulate our text any way we like. We can erase parts of it. We can add parts to it. We can... Uh, through using this create outlines tool, we can uh, give it a stroke in the proper way. It's one option. And uh, yeah, it just kind of opens up our ability to manipulate text for like specialty text or something featured like a title or a logo of some sort. Okay, let's try one more thing here. I'm going to duplicate that A that was giving us problems with the way the stroke is aligned. Okay. So let's try another way to manipulate the stroke here. So I've got my A, and I've got the stroke all wrong, right? So let's go ahead and pull up another window called the Appearance window, OK? Now the Appearance window, I've got two things, a graphic style and appearance, but we really need to just be here. So I'm on my type. You can see that there's a type layer. And what I can do is I can add a new fill or add a new stroke. So let's go ahead and um, Let's clear the appearance first, okay? And let's go ahead and add a new stroke. And now we look at, we've got these options that popped up here. So I've got the type, the stroke, and I have no fill color. Let's go ahead and give it a fill. Let's give it back a fill of red. And here's my stroke. And let's see, here I can adjust the stroke as well. And look at the order. I've got the stroke on top and the fill on bottom. So in the appearance window, I can shift that around. I can pick up this fill and put it above my stroke. And now I've got the proper alignment for my stroke and my fill. Okay, we can make this larger here. And you can see that it's now not distorting my text. So we can rearrange the order of our fill and our stroke in the appearance window. And that's f another fantastic way to uh, keep your text looking good and keep your strokes looking good and properly aligned. All right, let's see. Let me click in here. And you see as we can add, as we add new letters, uh, they're properly aligned in this window as well. But if I go to this one up here, they add in misaligned. All right, well, there you have a uh, little tutorial on different ways we can manipulate our text, how we can uh, control the placement of the stroke with the appearance window, and it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities with text and what we can do and uh, how we can make it look interesting and unique, especially for things such as logos or um, titles or things like that. All right. Hope you guys learned something and I'll see you on the next video.